What exactly is a shared inbox and how is it different from a collaborative inbox? A shared inbox, as the name suggests, is an email inbox that is shared among a group of users. A collaborative inbox, on the other hand, is more of a group email where members can respond to emails sent in a group. Setting up your team's shared inbox, a step-by-step -step guide to Google Collaborative Inbox. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Allie, and today we'll be talking about setting up a shared inbox for your team using Google Collaborative Inbox. If you've been following our series, you know we've covered the ins and outs of collaborative inboxes. Today, we're moving a step further by discussing shared inboxes and why they might be a better choice for your team. While collaborative inboxes have their merits, shared inboxes can offer more in terms of functionality and ease of use. They also tend to have better email and workflow management features, and it's easier to keep track of who's doing what. Despite the notable differences between a collaborative inbox and a shared inbox, the term collaborative inbox is still used to describe a shared inbox in the context of Google Groups. If you'd want to explore the ins and outs of a shared inbox, consider checking out Hiver. Now let's walk through setting up your team's collaborative shared inbox in Google Groups step-by-step. Step. step one, begin by creating a Google group for your team. Navigate to Google Groups, click on Create Group, and fill in the necessary details like group name, group email address, and description. Step two, it's time to choose and set permissions. Over here, you can optimize your group based on who can view conversations, who can post, and who can view members. Moreover, you can choose who can join the group as well. Once that's done, add members to it and add managers. Type in the email addresses of your team members and team managers followed by a welcome message if needed. Step three, now that you have your team in place, it's time to enable collaborative inbox. Navigate to group settings and under enable additional Google groups feature, select collaborative inbox. Four, once everything is set up, all members can access the shared inbox by going to Google Groups and clicking on My Groups. Remember, the key to effective team email management is not just about setting up the right tools, but also about creating a system that works for everyone. This includes setting clear expectations of who's responsible for what, regularly updating task status, and using the assign and mark as complete features efficiently. And if you're finding that a Google collaborative inbox isn't quite meeting your needs, consider looking at a dedicated shared inbox tool like Hiver. With Hiver, you can manage your shared inbox right from Gmail with features like email assignments, collision detection, automated workflows, advanced analytics, and more. Visit www.hiverhq.com to learn more. That's it for today's tutorial on setting up a shared inbox for your team. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your team members. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more step-by-step -step guides and tech tips. Got any questions? Feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. This is Ali signing off. Stay organized and see you in the next video.